Okay, well let's now consider another example of a system of nonlinear equations that we want to solve simultaneously. So suppose that we're handed y equals x squared minus x minus 1, and at the same time, 3x minus y equals 4. And I want to find out where these two things are satisfied at the same time. Now you can see this is not linear because this piece right here is a parabola, is a quadratic. This is a line, but we have a quadratic, so this is a nonlinear system. Now what would this look like? Well, I mean, visually you should have an image in your mind. A parabola, and it's a happy face parabola, should look somehow like this. This is a line, so somehow it may intersect in some sort of fashion like this. So you see that it might not be too surprising that we may in fact get two points of intersection. We might get two answers on this one. Now we may only get one. For example, maybe it just hits, just grazes it. So we might have only one solution, or we might have no solutions like this. So we might have no solutions to this system, exactly one, or we may have more than one. In any case, those are the possibilities. Let's take a look and see what actually happens. Well, how would you solve this? Well, I'm going to use the substitution method myself. And I'm going to say, you know what? I can easily solve this for y. And in fact, I can do that in almost one step. I bring this y to that side as a plus y, and this 4 over is a minus 4. And so I see that y would equal 3x minus 4. I just solved this for y. I got y by itself. But now I can insert that value of y right into here. And then I'll just have x's, and it'll be a quadratic, and I can factor and solve and go on with my life. So let's see how that would look. So instead, of, I'm going to write this equation here. But instead of a y, I'm going to put down its twin, its x twin, which is a 3x minus 4 equals x squared minus x minus 1. Great. Now it's just a quadratic in x. So I'll bring everything over to the right-hand side. And I see that 0 equals x squared. Now I bring this 3x over. I subtract it, so it becomes a minus 4x when I combine it with the minus 1x. This minus 4 becomes a plus 4, and a minus 1 is a plus 3. Can we factor? We sure can. Can we factor, please? Don't insult me. Uh, both the same sign, they're both negative. 1 and 3 can be easily seen to actually combine to get 4. So therefore, either this equals 0, x equals 1, or this equals 0, x equals 3. So now for each of these x values, we can now find the appropriate y values. So where can I plug in? I can plug into either of these things. It doesn't make a difference. For example, if I plug in x equals 1 here, I'd see 1 minus 1 minus 1. So that gives me a net gain of negative 1. So here, y would equal minus 1. What about here? Well, here you can plug again into either one of these. If I plug it into here, I would see 9 minus 3, which would be 6 minus 1 would be 5. So I'd see y equals 5. So I see the solutions are uh, x equals 1, y equals minus 1, and there's another solution, x equals 3, y equals 5. So in fact, it was that first possible scenario that we saw, where in fact the line cuts through the parabola at two different points. One is at 1 comma minus 1, and one is at 3 comma 5. Neat. OK, up next we'll take a look at one final example of a nonlinear system and see how to solve it. Get ready.